Well, we do think a lot about the food we eat, but not so much about how it gets to us. Southeast Produce Weekly's Chip Carter paid a visit to a packaging torture track in Orlando for a look at how those materials get, through, get put through their paces. I'm at the CHEP Innovation Center in Orlando, Florida. It's a world-class facility basically for breaking stuff, or at least trying to. This is where the packaging for agricultural goods, consumer products, gets some real-world testing. It's not for the faint of heart. So Brad, basically we're standing inside a big metal box and something tells me that at some other time we would not be as comfortable as we are right now. Well, you're right, because this is one of two environmental chambers we have, and these chambers are actually used to mimic temperature and humidity conditions that products would experience in the supply chain. So you can turn the heat up, turn it down? I can take it to minus 40 F and to 140F. So that pretty much covers the range. I mean, that's pretty much the extreme climate conditions that any product could face anywhere in the civilized world. So Brad, this looks like a giant box of foam coffee cups? Yes, they're foam coffee cups. But they look in a very precarious position that looks like a lot of weight and pressure about to come down on top of them. That's exactly what's gonna happen to them. This is a compression tester, and what it does is it actually is going to press down, we're going to do what's called an ultimate load. And we're trying to figure out what actually destroys these cases. Now Brad, you got two of the exact same box filled with the exact same things, but they're reacting totally differently. One is bulging out, the other one looks like it's folding up on itself. Yeah, it's not unusual for this to happen because there are variations in packaging materials. So as you can see, one's according down on itself and the other one is bulging out on the side. And what that tells us is where the weak points are possibly in that case that we could maybe look at to improve the packaging. This actually tests the integrity of the pallets themselves. We're testing what happens to the pallet in the supply chain when it's being handled separate from packaging. Like it could fall out of a rack or it could fall off a stack and then will it still be useful in the supply chain? So let's see what happens and pull the rope. Let's do it. Okay. What kind of havoc did we wreak? Well, it looks like it's out of square. Oh, it's definitely out of square. Look at that. Which That's is going to affect its ability in the supply chain. We've also got a loose board that wasn't there before. What do we learn from this? Well, we learned that this particular make of pallet, the GMA, probably isn't as effective from a drop survivability standpoint than a block pallet. And therefore, there's different grades of pallets for different uses and different needs. Exactly. In Orlando, Florida, I'm Chip Carter from SoutheastProduceWeekly.com reporting for RFD-TV. Well, as always, Chip, thank you. And of course, stay on the lookout as Chip brings us some updates from the Georgia National Fair.